Okay guys, so you guys asked me to do an acne safe makeup tutorial and I just want to say thank you for all the positive feedback I got yesterday and the negative. So we're going to do it today without a filter so you guys can see my daily acne safe makeup. Okay, and pardon my body is way darker than my face because I got a spray tan and I don't tan my face. So the first thing I'm going to use is my favorite foundation now. I mean, I used to use MAC, I used to do everything and it would always clog my pores. And then after I started using Emily Diane's products, she turned me on to a company called Illuminari. This is what it looks like. Sorry, it's dirty. I'm color fair. This stuff is awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I just have a little Morphe brush, my favorite, and I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand and just dab on my face. Okay, and this is what it should look like. Next step, you're going to take a clean beauty blender, and you're just going to dab. And this is an everyday makeup, you guys. I would do something a little more drastic if I was going out. And excuse my headband, I keep my hair out of my eyes. And really just blend that into the skin, blend it under the neck, under the eyes, on the nose. Just keep dabbing so you're not pushing all the product around. And what's really awesome about this stuff is that you don't need a lot and a little goes a long way. And it is full coverage, which is very ideal for me. So this is what it should look like. Next step, I'm going to use a highlighter. So I use the Luminari in porcelain. So it's just a lighter color foundation and I'm going to use this on under my eyes, on my forehead, on the tip of my, or the bridge of my And let me remind you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't do this for a living. I like doing makeup and I've been doing it for years. And this is what works for me. I mean, I've tried everything from NYX to Estee Lauder to every brand that you can imagine and everything clogged my pores. And I am making this video because with any Diane's products, if you're still using your pore clogging makeup, the products will not work. If you're still putting stuff on your face every day that's not good for you, you still will break out. So this is an alternative. Okay, next step, I'm gonna take a different Morphe brush and I have the porcelain color on my face and I'm gonna put under my eyes where I wanna brighten. My forehead. You wanna apply the highlight where people see where you want light to come to your face. So I do my cupid's bow and then down my nose. Okay, so if I was creating a more drastic look, I would do a cream contour, and I use a darker shade in the Luminari as well. Um, but today I'm just going to do a powder because it's an everyday kind of makeup look, and it should only take you about five minutes. And so this is a different beauty blender. I like to kind of separate them so you're not using the same one over and over. And this is what it should look like after it's all blended. So obviously I don't have any contour on right now, so it may look a little lighter. I kind of have a rounder face, so I would like to chisel my cheeks. Okay, and next step I'm gonna use, this is the Bare Minerals, and it's in the color Warmth. This is acne safe. A lot of the other Bare Minerals isn't acne safe, but this one is. So Emmy brought me onto this one too. It's awesome for contouring, so use it. The next step, I'm just going to take it on the lid with a contour brush. You can use any brush. I use the e.l.f. one. Start at your cheekbones and go down. And don't worry, it might look a little scary at first because it's dark, but you just blend it. I'm going to apply it to my forehead. You apply the contour to anywhere you want to look smaller. And then I'll also apply it to my jawline. Okay, and this is what it should look like. I know it's super scary, but don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. So, just a blending brush. Start blending. 
So this is what it should look like. Make sure you blend into your neck so you don't have any harsh lines. And this is what it should look like. And the next step, I still have extra product from my Bare Minerals bronzer. I'm going to do nose contour because I love nose contour. It's fun. I've been watching makeup YouTube tutorials on it. There's so many ways to do it, so whatever works for you. And to do my nose contour, I use a Morphe. I don't know what brush. And another Morphe brush to blend it out. These brushes are awesome and they're super cheap, so I know. I like these. I like e.l.f. You don't really need expensive brushes to make stuff work, so I'm all about it. Okay. And I had to look in the mirror to do this, so this is what it should look like. Obviously, you're not going to leave it like this. You're going to blend it out. So when you blend it out, just be very, very gentle because you don't want to move it around. And sometimes you'll see the makeup gurus do the line. I feel like that makes my nose look dirty. Yeah, so I don't do that because it's, I don't know, it's easier this way. So I'm going to blend it out very, very light. Blend it into your eyebrow. Okay, this is what it should look like. Small, snatched nose. That's what we all want, right? So, so far. Okay, next step, since we did do only liquid foundation and stuff, I'm going to add a powder foundation. And this is a company called Priya, P-R-I-I-A. They are all acne safe. They will not clog your pores. And this stuff is awesome and has great coverage. And it's a good color. So I'm going to only take a little bit of my lid. A little bit on the brush, lightly go over the spots that don't have contour. Okay. This is what it should look like with the powder. Just blend it. You really do not need a lot of this stuff. So it kind of makes your makeup set a little bit though. And next one we're going to do is a highlight. And this is also from Priya. It's called the Celestial Powder. It's honestly like my favorite powder. I don't know if you can see, but it's like shimmery, it's pretty, it goes on really well. So we're going to use it on my cheekbones, on my forehead, anywhere where I want that extra glow. And like I said, remember, I'm not a makeup artist, but this is just what works for me. I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube videos on makeup tutorials, and I've had a lot of makeup done in the past. So, I've kind of learned a little bit. But there are so many ways to do things, there's so many brushes, so I'm probably going to get some hate on from makeup artists, so, oh well. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, super pretty highlight. And then we're also going to take it down the bridge of my nose. Okay, now that we're done with the face, we're going to move on to the eyes. I use this Morphe palette. I have no idea what it's, which one it is, but it's like a neutral palette. And I'm just going to do a neutral eye color just to kind of make my eyes a little brighter. Okay, so just put a little bit on my lids. Not much. This is a natural tutorial, so I would obviously be, do some like a smoky eye or something if I was going out, doing whatever, so... This is just basic. And next up, if I was going out, I would do eyeliner, but I'm not going out. And I have eyelash extensions, so shout out to Lush Teak for making them look pretty. So just kind of bring them up. This is just a wand. There's no mascara on it. Next, I'm adding the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. This is awesome. I've tried so many mascaras, and they always get all over my eyes. I don't know how, but they do. So this stuff's awesome. In there. I put mascara on my bottom lashes and I have eyelash extensions on my top. So next up, lips, my favorite. I'm obsessed with lips. Lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss, everything. So I'm using, okay this one I'm using Rimmel's Lasting Finish in a Thousand Kisses color. So I'm just going to outline my lips. outlined my lips with lip liner and today since it's a natural tutorial I'm gonna go with the 545 beige babe it's a Maybelline lipstick it's just like a matte nude color I'm obsessed with nudes 
And this is what the lipstick looks like. I'm obsessed. I like those colors together. And then I'm going to finish off with Baby Lips by Maybelline. It's a pretty nude color, just to add some shine. So now for the final result. So my hair, I obviously just took a shower and I haven't done it yet, but acne safe makeup, 100%. So obviously I'm not a makeup artist, but this is just something that works for me. And I think it looks pretty good for being acne safe, considering I've tried every single makeup product ever, maybe. But So I really hope you guys liked my video. Sorry it's long. I just started doing videos. I'm on my way to making a YouTube channel. However, the lighting in my apartment sucks. So I'm waiting for my light to come. And then I will make more videos and put them on YouTube so you guys can see. So, so Instagram will obviously have to do for now. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Send me a DM and I'm going to attach the products and the companies below.